I've known Bill Fenner for probably about 45 years. We first met in 1977 when he came to Ohio State as a new faculty member. What struck me most about Bill then and today is the breadth of his knowledge. Bill knows more about everything than most people know about anything. He was extremely well-read and of, of broad interests and could talk to you about anything and generally knew the answer to just about any question. I was always uh, impressed with his resourcefulness and I always thought, well, you know, he might know the, the answer off the top of his head, but he could always point me to the right place to look or the right articles to read when I didn't. Bill's curiosity is so inspiring to me. He wants to know about everything, you know, and he does. <laughs> He's got an encyclopedic knowledge of politics, world history, uh, classical music, literature. One area that he did not know much about was sports, and I started engaging him in that because I knew I could get him on a few things. Well, that didn't last because he soon became an expert in everything about sports, and he was asking me questions about things that I couldn't possibly answer. So that was the last time I ever knew something that Bill did not know. First and foremost, uh, Bill is a teacher. Um, he's an instructor and someone who is very passionate about what he does and has, through the years, taught many, many students. Bill taught me freshman year neurology. You know, I had him on clinics as a senior. I had him as a mentor. There's a photograph where I dressed up as him for Halloween and he was good natured enough to stand next to me so this picture could be taken. It was because of how, you know, sort of beloved Bill was by the students that, it, you know, it even felt comfortable to have that. ACPIM, of course, was basically founded during my internship and residency. At that time, the veterinary medicine was really undergoing a renaissance, and there were a lot of things that were being recognized as conditions in animals. And most of the people that were leading this charge were the people that were the founders of ACVIM when we were looking at the medical conditions. And so what I saw were these people who felt that the veterinary profession needed to become better, the veterinary profession needed to, to grow, and I was able to get on the ground floor of that. Bill is the epitome of a servant leader. He always seemed to look at his role as an opportunity to serve, not to be a leader in his own right. I always had the very distinct feeling that Bill felt that the ACBIM success was his success. So he wasn't looking for personal success. He wanted to see the ACBIM succeed and because of the things that he's done over the years, it has. One of the things that my father wanted all of his children to do was to do A, something that made them happy, and B, something that added value to the world. And ACVIM provided that opportunity. In the early part of my career, the ACVIM added value to my life, and then later in my career, it is my hope that, the, that I was able to add value to the ACVIM. Bill, congratulations on being the recipient of the 2022 ACVIM Pile Distinguished Service Award. This couldn't be a more well-deserved award for you because um, you've you've dedicated a good part of your life to the the, the organization of the ACVIM. You've had a, a remarkable career, uh, an amazing length of service that you've had for the ACVIM. You have put your heartfelt passion, um, super resilience. Uh, throughout a great career to help make ACVIM successful and to help make all the veterinary specialists in the world successful. I want to congratulate you and I look forward to getting our next dinner together. I'm very proud of the work that you've done to represent the ACVIM and to carry the work of our organization forward. Thank you so very much. It has been an honor for me to have known and worked with you for the past 18 years. I'm not sure how we're going to manage, but I think what I fall back on is that you've taught all of us well enough that we will know what to do even if you aren't there to guide us. For me, it is very meaningful because in a sense, Lee and Inga were kind of like an aunt and uncle to many of us that were coming up in the profession. And so to be able to get an award that is named for uh, 
essentially your honorary uncle and aunt is pretty special. Mm -hmm.